Hi, welcome to Coding Droplets, and thank you for watching this video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can manage CSV files in our C-sharp application. So we are going to see how we can read data from a CSV file to our C-sharp application, and also how we can write data to a CSV file from our C-sharp application. So first, let me create a new project. So I'm clicking on create a new project. I have opened Visual Studio. Now, uh, so we can create a console application to, for showing the demo. You can use this in any kind of applications. So now I'm creating a new console app.NET framework and I'm saving it in my desktop. Okay. Now, I'm naming it as uh, CSV demo. Okay, and creating the application. So the project is getting created. Okay, fine. So it is a simple console application and you can see the project files in the solution explorer. Fine, now the first thing what I need to do is I need to install a library with which we can manage or we can read, write CSV files. So for that, I'm right clicking on references and clicking on man, uh, manage nugget packages. Fine. Now here you can see now there are no installed packages in my application, in my project. Now I'm searching for link you to CSV. Oh, sorry, not this to, to CSV. Okay, fine. So I'm using this serialize, deserialize your classes to or from CSV. Okay, clicking on install and it is asking for the confirmation, clicking on okay. Fine, the library got installed. Okay, <clears throat> fine. So this is now just for a confirmation, we are opening the references and we can see that link you to CSV is installed in our project. So using this library, we are going to read and write CSV files from our application. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel named Coding Droplets if you have not subscribed it yet. And also press the bell icon so that you will get notified once we upload new videos. Now, first let's see how we can read from a CSV file. So here I have a CSV file named country. So I will just open it. So you can see now I have opened it in notepad. So in the first line I have, um, okay, I have the field names like name alpha two, alpha three, country code, region. And here we have country name, all this data. So there are so many data, fine. So first what I'm doing is I'm copying this file to the project folder and just changing the properties copy to output directory always okay so it will copy this file to the output folder once we run the application or uh, the application can read it from the output folder fine so now okay so First, let me create a model class to read this CSV file. So we have name, alpha two, alpha three, country code, region, one, two, three, four, five. Five fields we have to read, okay? So I'm creating a new class and I'm just naming it as country. Okay, now, removing the unnecessary usings, fine. First is string, I'm naming it as country name. Okay, now next alpha two. So I'm giving it as public string alpha two. Now next is alpha three. Fine, now next is country code. 
And the last one is region five. <laughs> okay, now what we can do is we can add some attributes, CSV column. So we have to use this link you dot link you to CSV library for that. Now CSV column, we can provide the name here. So here the column name is name. Okay, I'm just copy pasting it. So you only need this CSV column attribute if you're having the first line as the field names. Otherwise, we don't need to mention this. Otherwise, we have one more option to provide the field index. So I will show you it soon. And here it is alpha hyphen two. Fine. Now the next is alpha hyphen three. Fine. Entry code is entry heaven code. Now the next region, fine. So now we have mentioned the field names for each uh, property, okay? Now the next thing what I need to show you is we have one more property here, field index. So field index is uh, used if you don't have a name, uh, means as I told, if you don't have uh, the name of the uh, field in the first row, we can use field index. So if you have both, uh, sorry, if you have name, then also we can use field index, that is not an issue. Uh, but I will show you in detail how while reading the CSV data. So now I'm just providing field index as well. Oh, sorry. Oh. This is four and this is five. Okay. Now one more thing I need to show you is output format, which will be which you will need. So output format is like if you're having uh, this is a, for example, this is a daytime. Uh, the data type is daytime. So in the CSV file, if you have the daytime in this format, um, why, 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 H -H -M. for example, if you have the value in this format, you can provide the format here. So automatically the library will convert that text to daytime and the value will be assigned to this property. So that is what we need oh, for that pur purpose we use this output format and if it is a currency you can use c so uh, it will be converted to a currency and you, here you can use decimal data type and it will be used as a currency you can retrieve the value in decimal format okay so i'm removing all these now anyway we don't need output format as we have all string values fine so the model class is ready now we can start reading the data from the CSV file. So for reading a, a file, CSV file, I'm opening program.cs and here I'm declaring a new method, private static void read CSV file. Okay, now inside this, first uh, we need to declare a CSV file description. I will explain what is csv file description so for declaring csv file description we need to use this library link you to csv fine now inside this we have multiple options actually csv file description is some options that we can assign for reading the file so here we need uh, ignore first line has column names. Okay, we can set it true. Uh, our CSV file is having first name, uh, the first line, uh, the column names. Let me try to open it. Oh, 
Okay, you can see here, we have first name, column name here, the first line, sorry, the first line is column name, okay? So we can provide this value as true. Now the next, this is not mandatory, but you can provide it as true, unknown, sorry, ignore unknown columns. So if the column names doesn't match, you can ignore it, okay? Next, but in our case, it is not needed. Actually, we have mentioned the exact column names, so that is not needed in our case. Separate cat, you can provide this comma, in our CSV file, we have comma as the separator of each column, fine. Now the next is use field index for reading data. So you can provide this if you have, if you don't have a name for each column, so you can use this field index for reading the data. So in our case, we can do one thing, we can make this false. We have column names for each column. So that is, we have already mentioned it in our model class, the column, the name of each column. So as we have this, we can directly read the data using column names. Okay, fine, this is enough. Now, the next thing we need to declare CSV context is equal to new CSV context, fine. Now, the next is war countries is equal to new, sorry, not new, CSV context. Now we are going to read the data from CSV. So read. Now here we can mention the type of each record. So we know the type is country, the model class which we have created. Now the next is the file name. So file name is country.csv. So I'm just providing the file name. So here, as we have this country.csv in our uh, built folder, we just need to mention the country name. Otherwise you can give the entire path of this file, okay? And comma, now CSV file description, we have already declared it. So we can provide that as the second parameter. Fine, this is enough for reading the data. Now let's see, uh, now let me, declare a for each here, for each war country in countries. Okay, so in console dot write line, I'm just printing some of the values here. So country dot, let's say country name. Now country dot alpha three, country, dot country code. Okay, that these three values are enough for us to understand this is working fine. Now here, while I'm starting the application, I'm calling this method CSV read, read CSV file, then console dot read key, let, let it be on. Okay, fine. Now let me run the application and show you how it works. The application is getting compiled. It is getting opened. It's taking some time. Okay, the build is succeeded. Yeah, now you can see we have successfully read the values from the CSV file and is getting displayed in our console application. So fine, that is working. So this is how we can read files from CSV. Sorry, this is how we can read data from CSV files. Now we are going to see how we can write data to CSV files. So for that, again, I'm declaring a new method here, private static void. And the method name is write, sorry, write CSV file. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm calling this method from here and just committing this out. We don't need this read CSV file to work again. So we just need to write content to CSV file. So in order to do that, I'm declaring some like country list equal to new list of dot string list of country. Fine. New country. This country name is equals country name equals 
let me get some values from the CSV file. For two equals AF and alpha three equals AFG, I believe. Country code equals four. Region equals Asia. Fine, let me create some three different countries. So the third, sorry, the second country name is this one. And the third country name is this one. Okay, anyway, it is for a demo purpose. We don't mind some dummy values. So AI and for Albania AB. AIS, oh, sorry, A, B, A, L, B. Fine, the country code, I'm just giving five, six. Anyway, we, need, we know that this is for some dummy purpose. Okay, fine, for showing the sample, this is enough. Now, the next is, we need these two, CSV file description and CSV context fine but here we don't need this okay ignore non columns don't need this as well okay these two values are sufficient now let me write the file csv context dot write and here we have to pass this country list as the first parameter and the second parameter is the file name. So let it be country01.csv. Okay, now the file description, CSV file description, we have already declared it here. So I'm using it. And after this, I'm just writing on console window that CSV file created. Fine, that is enough. Now let me run the application. Oh, my um, antivirus has blocked something. <laughs> uh, let me exclude the process. Okay. Let me try to run it again. Okay, now it is showing CSV file created. So I think now the file got created. Let me try to open the build folder. So it is in bin debug. Fine, you can see the file here, country 01. Let me open it. And you can see now uh, we have the field names in the first line and the country names in the next three lines. So in the same way we have given in our model class. So this is how we can write data to CSV files. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so please subscribe the channel so that you will get notified once we upload new videos and press that bell icon. Don't forget to do that so that you will get the notification. And thank you for watching this video. See you all in the next video.